When looking at a complex biological question like a disease, it can make sense to simplify the whole question by using a model organism. In our case, we want to understand the neurodegenerative disease in humans where toxic atypical sphingolipid is accumulated and this leads to neurodegeneration. And we use the very simple model organism C. elegans uh, to understand this biological question. We chemically synthesized the worm specific sphingoid bases and then we fed either the good 1 hydroxyl base or the bad atypical 1 deoxy sphingoid base to the animals and we looked at its effects on intestinal development on the one hand and um, cytoskeletal structures on the other. We found that the worm absolutely needs this worm specific chemical structure of the sphingoid base for normal intestinal development. But on the other hand, we also found that the atypical 1-deoxy sphingolipids, which in humans causes a neurodegenerative disease, also had detrimental effects on the worm. And we could see that uh, these molecules were destroying the cytoskeleton. And this reminds us of similar effects that people have seen in human neurons, uh, where also these compounds can destroy the cytoskeletal structures. So now we have a system where we can study the beneficial effects of the 1-hydroxyl swingered bases uh, on intestinal development and the detrimental effects of these atypical 1-deoxy sphingolipids in the worm intestine. And um, we hope that if we can find ways how to protect the worm from the detrimental effects of 1-deoxy sphingolipids, we can draw conclusions on how to maybe develop new treatments also for the human neurodegenerative disease.